Hey, what's up, guys? One of the Savage Gamer here, aka TTS212, getting savage with, uh, with an Apex Legends how to video. So let's get right into it. So, um, you know, like Apex, you know how, like, the style it is a battle royale game, and the movements are simple. You shall learn that in the tutorial for the video. And, um, as you go into firing range, as you can see, yes, it is at King's Canyon. If you don't know about that, you will get into it later. And basically, these are the different controls about like movement, aiming, and stuff. It should te teach you that in the tutorial that Wait they get it to you, but I don't quite like memorize the controls. It just comes to me. And then tacticals, we will talk to talk about that in later on in the video. But let's go and talk about the weapon types. So the weapon types are different. We have energy weapon types, and then and then here are the guns. We're going to get into those later. And then, and then of course these are the hoppas. We'll also get into that later. These are legendary weapons. We'll get to that later, as as you guys all know. Showing you guys the weapon types. That, and then this is sniper types. All snipers have different types of ammo. All different types. And then of course these are the hop ups. Here are the heavy section with all the different types of guns. And of course the hop ups. Here's a light section with also their own ammo, just like all of all of the others. And then the hop ups. And then we got the shotgun type. And then the different types of guns. And of course the hop ups that we will be getting in into later. But um, let's go talk about these shields. These shields are different types. Let's go start off at the rare or the um, common. These are the common shields, rare, epic, and also legendary. That's, these knockdown shields helps you when you're knock, knocked down. It just helps you out. These are different types of health that you get. These are different backpacks for you to hold the, a different amount of items this is a helmet to protect your head and a body shield to give you a bit more health and then of course the different levels give you more health of course as you, as you can see in the blue bars the um, different backpacks hold way more but they're rare and of course as you can see the more bars legendary here is where if, if you get knocked down you can still survive this one is uh, when when your squad mates are done and then you revive them, you can get in additional health and shields. Helmet, it helps you recharge stuff, and then it helps, it takes half long to use items. And of course, the Evo shield is brand new to, to the game. As you do damage, right, you can simply just level up, level up your shield to different types. The top is red. Okay, I would like you to experience that for yourself, and you will enjoy it. All right, that's gonna get to the, um, Healing, the healing stuff. All right, these are the different types of healing. Of course, the shield cells recharge your shields and like those med kits and stuff. Let's go to grab a um, grenade and um, harm, ha ha harm ourselves for me to show you how the how this works. All right, so a shield battery, you gotta equip it, recharges all of your uh, of your shields and just a little bit of time. And I'm gonna do a bit a bit more damage to myself, at least try to. And the um, shield cell, that little tiny thing, only recharges a little bitty bar. Oh, I hate when this thing doesn't equip. Why did I drop it? Come on. Yay. Okay. All right. I'm doing a bit of damage to myself. Just to use the med kits. Oh, there we go. Ah, I jumped. All right. Now, I want to show you how much the um, little syringe does. It only does a little bitty bar. Maybe about, like, 4%. One point four percent of your health medkit it charges it all up it heals you completely now let's go ahead and basically for myself one more time and then let's check out the phoenix kit recharges your health and your shields but of course you only hold one of one of them so it takes up loads of your space I'm gonna pin this ah, I got it see all right arc stars can pin it. stick to them blow up all right these are the different types of hop-ups again and um that's gonna get to the um types of weapons i believe all right 
All right, let's start off with shotgun. All right, this is, these are different types one more time. Let's first start off with the EVA. The EVA is, of course, a nice little shotgun. This is what it looks like. Uh, it's, it's a pretty nice gun. And this is what it looks like, I think, when it fires or when it moves, whatever. See how I can move it? It looks so nice. Look at that. Ah. Yeah, the um, EVA is one of my favorite guns. And double tap trigger. As you can equip it, you can equip it to hop up. So it, and that, that was one, and that's auto. So it just shoots one, and then the double tap makes it shoot double. All right, of course, with the P22, the hop up makes it way more stronger. Of course, this is a light. And then uh, we got the precision choke is for the triple take peacekeeper. I'll show you that in a minute. And hammer point, just like what I showed you earlier. All right, a, sh a shotgun bolt. Here, make increases the um, rate of fire. See, that's more powerful, and plus, you can you can shoot it more quicker, of course, to different levels. Digital HCOG Ranger is one of my favorite. It, it um, highlights the enemy, but of course, the dummies are already red, so they won't be highlighted. But of course, they can also do damage, and it helps with, so you can see through, like, smoke and caustic gas that I will talk about later. And get, get some more ammo, and reloading is another feature. See how power powerful it does, and then... Now you just instantly reload it. And then, okay, let's go start with the Peacekeeper. This is what the Peacekeeper looks like. This is with, with, with my skin, but when you get it, it'll be different. And then, of course, ha, ha, see how you can see my um different hop-ups are already equipped there. It just follows. Right. Okay, this is the person show. So this is just normal. This is what person. It charges it up, and it does way more damage. Of course, it doesn't equip it, so you got to charge it up every single time. And the reloading is another really cool thing. I'll... I love the um, animation on it. Oh, it's a Mozambique. The Mozambique is another really good gun. This is what it looks like. You will have it, of course, without my skin. You can always buy it. All right. This gun can also take hammer point, just like what my P2020 used. This can also use a shotgun bolt and a digital threat. As you can see, it doesn't do that much damage, but it's pretty cool. But the reload is my favorite part. All right. I think that's going to reload with that. All right, now um, I think that um, this could be all. Oh, and of course, these are the grenades. I'll show you with this one sticks to walls and blows up. The arc and also can also stick to people, but I missed. Frag grenades can bounces off of things and blows up and rolls around. But thermite, it it makes a wall of wall of fire. Wall of fire. Wall of fire. Wall of fire. And of course, it does damage if you're inside of it. Like, of course, but I missed the dummy completely. Oh, come on. All right, let's move on to the light. The light is also one of my favorites. All right, see how I got my RE45 and, of course, my scope equipped it. Of course, you got to pick up light ammo for this, and it won't equip shotgun ammo. So what it looks like. It looks pretty cool. And, of course, these are standard stocks. We will get, get into that. A, a barrel stabilizer. A large recoil minimizes muzzle flash. So, um, this is without it. It See how, like, there's a little fire? This is with it. It's perfect, and it stabilizes the gun. These are different mags that you can use. It it can equip a different type. So, the normal equips 19, oh, three more shots. It will do a bit of damage. It's an automatic pistol. And this one can hold, of course, I think, three shots. This one can hold way more shots. I just don't know how much because I lost count and that is the RE45 this is the P2020 as I already talked about this one it's going to equip our hammer point rounds and then of course this one can also use a mag the shoot see how the sound looks so cool in the reloading just spam the shots so that yeah, is what it looks like pretty cool gun of course it is a um, semi-auto this is an R301 carbine it is a machine gun. This is what it looks like. You will, of course, have it without my skin, but you can always buy the skin. Let's go ahead and get some light ammo. And, um, yeah. All right, so these are the standard stocks. It helps it not drift recoil as you're shooting, so it helps. And plus, it um, stabilizes your, your um, aiming. Let's go and equip that. And, of course, there are different levels. This one can use anvil receiver, that golden thing. As we can get it to there, as we can equip it, see? So if we can equip it, it, it increases semi-auto damage, but it increases rate of fire, but but it um, 
uses way more ammo. And of course, we can equip the barrel stabilizers. All right, I already equipped a um, scope to one that I like for this gun. And um, as you can see, that little swirly thing. All right, now this gun can go in the single shot mode. It's the um, little button on the um, square, as you can see on the bottom right screen. And that's gonna, and also that gun can also do automatic. This is the R99, one of my favorite weapons. And of course, this is what it looks like. This one can also use a stock. But some guns do not need stock, but you can always equip it. It, it's, it's one of the fastest shooting guns in the game. I love it so much for that. Boom. And as you can see, yes, it has kept my hop ups. And yeah, and of course, yes, this can also switch back. It's pretty cool. Now let's go on to the alternator. It is a um, submachine gun, it is a um, double barrel blaster or gun as you guys call it and yes it is a um, auto gun it does damage it's a pretty good gun but the bounce is pretty pretty real pretty cool cool gun of course as you're reloading it's another awesome reload and of course this is a g7 scout it's, it is a marksman rifle so what it looks like of course i got this from one of the events that that you will experience and this thing is like a sniper rifle but it's an assault rifle it is a single shot you cannot equip it to like machine gunning of course i like a scope like this for you to check. this is with, with do double tap and this is without double tap it's like and reloading is pretty cool you just you know take a finger take it right out all right let's move on to the heavy items uh, I'm going to drop all this ammo because I don't need it for the thing. Alright, this is called a wingman. This is also my favorite gun in the game. It looks like that. And, yeah, of course, we got to get some heavy. And this gun is only a pistol, so it doesn't hold none, none of those. But these are the different heavy mags. It can hold three more types, so it's basically almost the same thing, but it holds different types. Of course, you just have to do it. Yes, it is a one-shot, but it's one of the most powerful pistols in the game. And of course, I know that uh, many people doesn't really like the weapon, but of course, you can be the people who likes the weapon. A Spitfire. This is what it looks like. It's another really cool gun. I'm gonna get some more ammo because this one takes up a lot of ammo. Of course, you can see as yes, it kept my quips, but I need that um thinned magazine. And yes, as you reload it, this is the gun that holds the most shots in the game. 55 shots with the top mag. And as you can. You can just spam it. You can just spam it. You can take out the whole squad just without reloading. Of course, you can. You can just if you're one of one of those people that aren't as good at aiming, and like you can just spam, spam the shots and shoot everywhere and still get a kill. That is one of those really guns. All right, a prowler is another really good gun. This is what it looks like. I think it's a pretty cool gun. And of course, my hot bus. We gotta get some more ammo. This gun is a burst of course it does tons of damage but also this gun also uses a hop up called select fire receiver it can be used for havoc and this gun it is makes it auto so it's completely spamming shots and the reloading is pretty quick and cool you just spam shots and you get some kills that way and hamlock burst here we go this is a gun that you can equip them. Going. This one takes a bear stabilizer. It is another burst weapon, but it's more powerful than the hamlock. This gun is also a, a single shotter, just like the R301. It's a really cool addition to the gun. Many people use um, the um, sing, single shot mode. And of course, these um, different guns can, can can use different amounts of the um, different. Thing. So, um, these, of course, the purple ones, you can only hold for for assault rifle, mid-range guns, and also, um, sub. Alright, VK-47, this is the flatline. Of course, this is what it looks like. It's one of the coolest skins that you will equip for your flatline. Of course, this one doesn't use a mag. But, of course, as you can see, yes, it takes an anvil receiver. 
And of course, this one spam shots as well. Pretty powerful. The reloading is also pretty cool. This one can also do single shot mode also. But it's really slow, sadly. If it was spammy shots, oof, it would have been awesome. That that could be a buff in the game. Now let's move on to the snipers. Let's go and drop all my stuff that I do not actually need. Yeah. Uh, of course, these have the different types. We can grab some sniper ammo. And of course, let's start off with the Sentinel, one of the newest guns in the game from Season 4. And this is what it looks like, and it's pretty cool. Extended sniper mag. Standard sniper stock that also helps it not bounce because snipers bounce a lot. Of course, there are different types, and then this these don't take um, extended magazines, uh, oh, oh, barrel stabilizers. I mean, but this is a digital threat sniper. So when you look at enemies, it pins up in digital threat. So it's really cool for smoke, and the reloading is one of my favorite reloads in the game reloading cool all right as you can see yes uh, you can see the um, shield battery required all you need i already um char charge it up and it this makes it way more powerful not to be just so cool i just it it does so much damage when it's charged up it's really good but also yes it does run out of time and look, this is how much it does without it. Of course, it does the same hand shot, but the body shot is very different. This is a charge rifle. came in, in Season 3. It's another really good gun. That's good. This one doesn't need a, a mag because it already holds four shots. You don't need a magazine for it. Of course, it takes sniper stock. And also, you're just going to grab a digital threat. This gun puts out a laser. It is a laser. It, it goes up for a little bit, but then it fires. It stops, but um, if you just move the laser around, yes, it just does damage, but only a little bit. The reloading is really cool. It spins and it goes down like that. And of course, you can do damage. See how it, how it only did eight shots? So I wasn't really on there. All right, a longbow DMR. This is what it looks like. I I got the skin from season three, and then see how I just gotta equip this. Is it one of the snipers that actually do take a barrel? See, but but you can spam shots like crazy and then have to reload it and then of course the and of course we have the different types all right now we have the devotion this is a legendary weapons of course they don't take any more hop-ups anything because it already has it. and see this is one of the, the charging up weapons and it does so much damage and the reloading is awesome as you can see what it looks like. Mastiff, this is also a shotgun. It does tons of damage and it only holds four shots and 16 ammo. Reloading's pretty cool. But as you're reloading, you, you, you can shoot a Kraber. This is a sniper. All right, as you can see, you can shoot and then the reloading's cool, but of course it takes a while to reload. Now we got the energy weapons. This is another Havoc rifle. The skin is pretty cool and this is what it looks like. See, it does recharge just like the, the devotion, and you can do some long shots with it. Do a bit like for styles, and the reloading is really neat. And of course, this can take all of the different types of standard stock, and this is one of the guns that take a select fire receiver. So it takes more ammo, but it charges up a little bit and does a long bolt and it does damage. You can also use it to, to snipe, so it's built in sniper. This is an L star. This is what it looks like. I think it's pretty cool. Look at that. Mm, nice. And as you can see, yes, this is a gun that can hold ammo. A lot of ammo. But also, as you're, sh as you're shooting, it does like little plasma balls. But look, you don't reload it. It reheats. You just do a spam. Ten of shots, reheat. But also, um, if you start hearing like a beeping, beeping shot, you can always stop shooting and then it cools down itself. I think it's pretty cool. All right, see this is my scanning. As you can see, you can detect hostiles. This is the Beast of the Hunt, my ultimate. You can run really quick, see enemies' highlights, and also you can see their footprints. I love this so much. See, I we will also talk about different types of ultimates later on in the video. And you just run around super quick, really cool. And plus, if you see from a 
player's point of view, their eyes glow and they're like weird, like red lightning going 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 around around you. I think is so 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 cool. And of course, we squished them. Look at that. And of course, it goes down. This is an ultimate accelerator. We have talked about this. It recharges your your ultimate just a little bit. All right, now. Let's go ahead and um, get into the lobby for me to show you a few other things. This is my background. You can get this from the Battle Pass. I'll be talking, talking to you later about that. All right, of course, this is what the lobby lobby looks like right now. You can see your skin. You can see the different items here, the daily challenges. And these are different modes that you, can, you guys can check out yourself. Training, firing range, apex, and of course rank leagues. This is where you can check out check out your your stats and all that. Goodness, these are different characters. Bloodhound. You can equip different skins for them, but you have to buy them with crafting metals. As I can see, there's are different frames that you can put put on your character. These are the different poses that you can do. Some of them move, some of them don't. Badges that you can equip. You earn these from in game these are the different trackers that you can do for kills wins headshots different types of weapon kills and these are like like different types of like quips they can talk and then of course you can equip them in the game for you to talk randomly in the game this is where where of course you can equip them for you to use it these are the different finishers they can do to players of course different characters have have a different amount and of course the different type of like style finishers of course they're legendary and they cost tons Gibraltar, as you can see, one of the one of the tanks in the game. He, of course, he has a different finishers, and of course, let's go to talk about. Um, well, let me go show you their finishers first, and then we're gonna get toward the um, what's it called, ultimates and passives and all that goodness. But of course, Pathfinder has one of the you know friendliest finishers ever. Caustic. Oh, another tank of the game crypto has a different skins you guys can check out later this is the revenant has different skins watson different finishers and all that goodness all right now we can talk about their beast their um what's it called you know like their ultimates tacticals and passives we got foes you can leave clues behind eye of the all father we can scan area and the beast of the hunt that we just showed Gibraltar gun shield as you are aiming there is a little shield in front of you that will protect you and does and like reflex damage and of course we got the dome of protection that will block it's just like am shield and of course they got the um other their um ultimate i would like you to check out combat medic where if there's a shield and you guys can recharge your enemy dark healing drill where you place on a drill and you can heal your teammates in a care package it's like a, a little rocket that comes down, and like there's there's loot and everything that you can use, and it's all random pretty much. Of course, this is more difficult, and of course she is more difficult to hit. And Pathfinder, he can scan survey beacons for the next ring. Grappling hook, it is where where you shoot a grappling hook out of, out of your hand, and you can swing yourself around, and it's pretty cool. You can grab onto many things. Zip line, where you can use a zip line and check that out yourself. You can place it anywhere. All right, Wraith, she can hail her voices from the void, where it tells up enemies near, snipers in the area. Into the void, where you go into the void for a second, and and then you're safe in there for a certain amount of time. Of course, you can create a create a portal with her. Dual time for Bangalore. This is where if she's being shot at, she moves faster. Smoke launcher, where you place on a smoke grenade and it smokes the area. Rolling thunder, where, where you throw it down. It does like little bitty missiles and it blows up over time. It's really cool, it blows up in order that it falls in. Nox, of course, caustic. Nox vision, where if someone is in your Nox gas, you can see them. Nox gas, where you place on a barrel and it does Nox gas. And it's Nox gas grenade, is where you place on a grenade and it blows up in a, in a caustic gas. That it's poison to the enemies. Of course, incoming re incoming fire is reduced by 15% for him. Mirage. Encore, encore, encore. As it's flying down, you can send out fake mirages. And also when you're not, there's a fake mirage walking around and then he dies. Pa and then, of course, you disappear when you're knocked down. Physical out, where you where you put out a um, decoy and it sends out a decoy. It's fake. Vanishing act. Many 
mirages stand behind you and of course you disappear and you can run off for a certain amount of time and disappear and then of course flank enemies many people say yes this is a really good mirage to flank enemies now we got to get to octane swift med you can he heals himself slowly and surely a stim makes you run really faster for six seconds of course it does a little bit of damage to you and his jump pad is just like a trampoline spark of genius ultimate excellence are fully recharged her ultimate charge is way faster technical she puts up a um fence of electricity and if an enemy walks inside of it they get electrocuted interceptor pylon it recharges your shields and it can deflect grenades missiles that from Gibraltar's ultimate, also Bangalore's ultimate, but she is also more difficult to hit. We got Crypto, Neuralink, where Crypto and his teammates see what his surveillance detects up to over 30 meters. Surveillance drone where, where you can get inside of a drone and, and fly around fire enemies, and drone EMP, where you can knock out the enemy's shields, and then you can rush in and take them out. I think it's a really cool thing, and plus it's like a big orb. Go, it goes around them, and it's only a certain distance that that it's ranging. Adam, of course, he moves around in the background, so it's a pretty cool show. And the Revenant Stalker, when you when you when when you crouch, you go faster, and you can climb up walls higher than any other legend. Silencer, where you throw down a um thing, and then of course it silences your um, tactical and your ultimate, so you can't use it. And of course, it does 10, 10 damage to the enemy death totem where you place it down and then you turn into a shadow if you get hit you go back to the totem so it's basically a second life and of course he's more difficult to hit than any of the legends as you can see and those are all the legend to cover of course here are the different types of weapons and and this is where you can buy skins for the different weapons that that you can have and you can also equip it for any and here are the game customizations with the backgrounds that you get from the battle pass and all the different types of music that you also get to the battle pass of course, this is what the default one they sound like. This is the fight or fright. You will not get this, only in the event. I have music. This is another one that you won't get. And also, this is skydive trails that you get from the lead, from the um, ranked leagues. Battle pass. Here you can buy it on your own. It gives you different types of skins, packs. You know, you know the monies and then crafting medals and different types of like quips and of course emotes in the sky. I think it's really cool. And of and of course the backgrounds. As you can see me going past them really what quickly. And of course, XP and also kill quips, intro quips, and different types of, you know. And of course, every single end of the battle path, there's a legendary skin. Two of them, actually. Of course, this is the shop that you can buy stuff. It's only a limited time, but you use it for Apex coins. See? There's different skins that they make over time. You can buy them, you know, pretty cool. And of course, like, what is that Gibraltar skin? You know, funny. He's an army man. And of course, this is where you, where you can buy packs. You usually get items for free, pretty much, but of course you gotta spend little monies on it. And of course, as we can get into the um, different types of heirlooms, these are rare different types of legends of heirlooms where you can use for like melee. Of course, this is Bloodhounds. This is what my heirloom that I don't even have yet, but different legends have their own heirloom. Only certain type of legends have their heirloom unless an, an event comes out and then their legend gets it. Of course, my Bloodhound's heirloom looks so cool. And then we have the legend that you haven't unlocked yet. Of course, I haven't unlocked Mirage and Watson because I don't really need them. And this is where you can buy the different types of the heirloom. Of course, I don't want to be, you know, Octane. And, of course, as you can see, yes, you can check out, like, like the um, different types of news. This is the AM Cinematic that you guys should have already seen in the game, but you can always rewatch it. This is where, where you can um, check out your own friends that are online. See, and some of your friends aren't leveled up, but of course you can check out some of some of your um friends, of course, and what they're level on for you to keep track of them. You know, if you want to know. And of course, yeah. Of course, let me go over that. So that does it. If you liked it, leave a like and subscribe for you to not miss any of my videos. So, peace out.